On the 19th of November 2020, a Council of Meghalaya Social Organizations, which include the KSU, FKJGP, HNYF, RBYF, GSU, AYWO, ADE, organized a sit-in demonstration to protest against the prolonged injustice of the indigenous people of the state, such as the incessant refusal to implement the inner line permit that could help safeguard the land, identity, culture and tradition. Also to oppose the sluggish activities and progress of establishing entry and exit points. It may be mentioned that recently the governor returned the MRSSA ordinance which infuriated the various associations. The MRSSA is an act that will shield, protect, enhance, security assess of the tenants and maintain peace. With this, the organizations stand against the Citizenship Amendment Bill, a bill that would provide shelter to non-locals, non-citizens of the country in our state. The sit-in protests also lay emphasis to demand the recognition of the Khasi language under each schedule of the Indian constitution. Till date, there are 22 recognized languages under the eighth schedule of the Indian constitution. It is imperative that the Khasi language is recognized as students can write their exams in the mother tongue. This is one of the many benefits and essential significance. Is not reaching anywhere. So. The, the gathering today is the first step of we the NGOs towards pressuring the government to implement all this long pending agenda, especially the follow up that the government need to be done regarding the implementation of ILP with the central government. The purpose of this gathering and the demand from the government is nothing new. Because uh, since 2013, we have been demanding from government the uh, implementation of ILP, which uh, at that point of time, we feel that pending the uh, implementation of ILP, we will go for the alternative mechanism, that is the installation of the and implementation of the entry exit point and the implementation of the Residential Safety and Security Act to regulate the, the illegal inflow of migrants into the state of Migrant. So. Regarding that, the government has decided, the previous government has decided to, uh, to, to erect this entry exit point at a uh, location which is uh, around uh, 18 locations in Khasi Jenti and Garo, uh, at Khasi Jenti and Riboy district and the Garo Hill, the, I could not recollect exactly how many locations. And also the implementation of the MR, M, MRSSA Act. But as we can see that uh, since 2014 onwards till date the when it comes to the entry exit point there has been i i wouldn't say it has been mean it is lacking very much in the implementation part in the materialization of the thing with regard to several issues which we have uh, raised with the government of Megalia and also at the same time with the government of India. So in fact, we have uh, uh, tried ourselves to, to not to take this I mean, additional program as of now, because we know, everybody knows that we are aware that the pandemic is um, uh, uncontrollable and even uh, we have to follow many pro uh, protocol of, the, of this uh, COVID-19. But still, uh, we have decided that, okay, we will start with this state administration, which we will confined to a few members only, which we can follow the um, COVID protocol. So I think this is the, 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 this is the first step that we want to send a very clear message to the government, that we are serious with the issue, that the government also should take, take up with the government of India in a very serious manner. Because we, 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 we understand that without this um, uh, ILP, without the support of the uh, MRSSA, I think we, not, within no time we will be nowhere. We will be, we will, we will be outnumbered by the, uh, uh, the, the, the non-tribal or the so-called the, the non-indigenous the, the non people of Meghalaya. Uh, well, today we organized the sit-in here in Malkigao. It's the marks of protest. At the same time, we reactivate the agitation that we organized last year also with regard to this demanding the implementation of LP in the state of Meghalaya. The state government has already passed the resolution on 19 December last year, but now it's only almost one year. 
the central government is keep delaying to implement the uh, IP in the state of Malaysia. This is to show the attitude of the central government to uh, install the sentiment, the aspiration and the desire of the people of the state of Malaysia. Since we have already fighting this uh, influx issue long time back, this is a long pending issue that demanding of implementation of IP in the state of Malaysia. So today is a we just starting to remind the central government that people of Meklia need the implementation of ILP in the state of Meklia. So what is the problem of the central government since the ILP have already granted to the state of Manipur for this problem to grant the state ILP to implement the state of Meklia? So if the central government treat us equally to safeguard, to protect the identity of the genius community of the state of Meklia, the state central government should implement immediately the, the ILP in the state of Meklia. And at the same time, today we organize the program as a mark progress that we continue to oppose the state government and acts to implement the state. Yeah. At the same time, also we want the central government to uh, examine the whole North East to implement this state government and acts. What we need is we need the mechanism like LP to implement not only in the state but yes, across the North East region. And at the same time, we remind the central government that since the uh, State government have already passed the resolution to demand the central government to include the Kasi language and Karo language in the HD of the Constitution of India. So it's, I think it's the uh, duty bound of the central government to respect the sentiment, to respect the desire of people, of the indigenous people of the North East, especially the Kasi language should be included in the HD of the Constitution of India.